Good morning, my friends. How far will you go? This is Len. It's coffee with Len. And you can tell it's a beautiful, clear day. Pacific Ocean is sitting right there. You know, Thomas Edison once made the observation that many of life's failures were people who didn't realize how close they were to success when they quit. Hello, Betty. Good morning. Good morning, Hamid. Good morning. So, you know, if you're working on something, if you have a goal, if you have something you want to achieve, how far have you come and how far do you have to go? And, of course, we never really know for sure how far we have to go, but the reality is that the vast majority of people quit. It, there are many different ways that this is said. It said uh, uh, we, uh, we quit before the magic happens. We're three feet from gold. But one of the things about the story Three Feet from Gold is to realize that while the miner was three feet from gold, he was three feet digging in the wrong direction. So he needed some guidance. The, the people that bought the mine from him and found the gold vein did it by hiring an assessor or hiring a, an engineer to evaluate what they were doing. So that says that maybe in order to go the final mile, the, the uh, last little bit of distance to your goal, you need a coach, a mentor, somebody to show the way, somebody who's done it before. That could be, that could be the secret. But whatever the secret is, it's often said that, you know, you got to go the extra mile, and that extra mile is rarely crowded because the people who weren't successful have all quit. And only the people that are successful are going the extra mile. And there's not very many of them out there. Statistically, three to five percent of the population. The rest gave up. They're watching Dancing with the Stars. Now, I don't have anything against Dancing with the Stars. It's a great show. And I don't have anything intrinsically against television. But I do know that many of us spend our time frivolously doing things that aren't taking us where we say we want to go. And then we wonder why we didn't get there. So as we all know, at the end of life, one of the most frequent things that people are sad about is that they didn't take the chance, do the thing that they wanted to do. What are you missing out on? What is it that you're not doing that you want to do? And if you're not doing it, why not? Why not? Back to Thomas Edison. Many failures are people that quit right before success would have occurred if they'd just gone a little further. What about you? I hope you're going to have a wonderful day. This is Len. Good morning, Betty. Good morning, Ahmed. Good morning, Jedediah. A good message. Thank you, Betty. Remember to be happy. The happier you are, the more happy the universe can bring you. And remember, let's all be compassionate. Compassion. Today, by the way, is National Cancer Research Day. One of the things that we know about cancer these days is that much of cancer comes from environmental exposure to things that your body doesn't know how to handle, toxins. Now, there's a really good series of videos, a documentary called The Truth About Cancer, a worldwide quest. You can find it on YouTube. Worth watching. Cancer does not have to be a death sentence. I know I've changed the subject, but cancer does not have to be a death sentence and can be in many cases. It appears that it can be avoided. <clears throat> so, anyhow, that's all for today. You have a wonderful day. We'll talk again tomorrow. Bye for now. Hi, Joe. Good morning, Joe. I'm just about to wind it up, Joe. Maybe you could watch the replay. Bye for now.